Hey folks, Scott Grove and my beautiful legs right here. They need a tan bad. You would think I would have a tan out here in the Mojave Desert, but I don't go outside. Um, I know you guys can't enjoy the speaker test because of these nasty legs, but hey, what better light than the good old sun? And I wanted to get some vitamin D. Okay, so the old speaker test to see if you wired crap up correctly or if people who sent you an amplifier or speaker cabinet wired things up correctly. A lot of people just toss things together and just, especially guitar players. Um, this will tell you whether you wired stuff up right or if somebody else did without having to go check everything. Um, and actually I pulled this out of an amplifier that I had laying here that I bought from somebody on YouTube and it was wired backwards. <laughs> Imagine that. So guitar players are usually not bright people when it comes to other things. They just want to work on playing guitar and they just think if the speaker makes noise then all is fine. This is not true. Okay, so how to use a 9 volt to test your speakers in different situations. And I was not going to tell your speaker, do not do this though in sound reinforcement on your horns. If you have something with tweeters in it or a horn or what have a compression driver can probably handle it but your little tweeters it'll probably fry them so disconnect your high-end stuff you know anything to do with your horns okay everything else this will work on any size speaker very easily okay so on the back of any speaker it will have a hot and a ground and it will be shown one of many ways on this particular um, guitar speaker it's got a positive stamped in here and a negative stamped over here okay so we want the speaker to go outward when we use the positive and the negative on a battery so remember on a 9 volt battery the little bitty guy is actually it's deceiving but it is the positive side and then that great big side is negative so we're gonna put the you're not gonna see anything at the moment gonna you'll hear it though I'm going to put the negative side just wherever it can reach. You can put it on the leads if you want or anywhere. Put the positive on the positive anywhere there's metal and the negative on the negative. Okay. And then we will get that sound. Okay. If all is correct, then the speaker will actually flex outward. And then when you take the battery off, it'll go back to where it was. If it's wired backwards, it will suck in and then back to normal when you let go of it. Okay, so you could test, like I said, a 412 cabinet and see all four speakers at one time and see if somebody wired anything wrong or if you wired anything wrong. In this case, there is a quarter inch jack. This here is where the person screwed up. They put that, that just plugs into the top of the combo amp. There's just a place you can just plug it in like a lot of combo amps today and they just tossed these little clamps here right on the leads and they did so backwards because I just checked it from here and it was backwards and I'll show you how to do that tip ring thing okay so let's check your speaker for actual outward excursion excursion is actually how far a speaker can go outward before it destroys itself. <laughs> okay, I will actually zoom in a little bit, see if you can see this happening. I'm going to touch, make sure I got the right sides. Yep, the positive to the positive down here on the speaker itself, and the negative to the negative, and you will, I will hold it there and try to make you see it push out. Here we go. Okay, there it is, out, let go, out, let go, out, let go, okay. Now if I did it backwards, it would suck in, like some old JBLs from the 70s. There it is, sucking in. Which is not what we want. And that's what happened here, is the tip 
of the speaker cables and guitar cables everything else the tip is your positive so the little bitty side of the battery and then the sleeve here will be your just your ground or your negative so when it came to me it was wired just as such so you put the positive on the tip and then once you make the connection it should push outward it's going to go inward like that so that's really going to screw with your sound especially if you have a 212 you know anything with more than one speaker and some are going in some are going out not a good thing you want them going outward so it's sucking in that's the way it's been in the amp the whole time until today when I go to look at it so if I was to go back here and switch these guys around the way they're supposed to be put this one over here I know you already know where it's going and you can certainly shut this off at any time but again just a great cheap way to and a fastest way around this takes a lot longer to explain it than anything and we should be okay positive to positive and here comes the negative going to the ground on here and this sucker should push out there you go if you can't see and you're blind you can put a little couple few pieces of anything in there BBs or glitter or talcum powder and so forth and that will be fine and dandy okay um, that is about it so that's how to t test for positive and negative things and you can do it on your you know whole flipping system if you need to you can do uh, all your bass bins at one time if they're all jumped into each other just plug into the end of a speaker cable that's going to one of the cabinets and have your buddies checking out all of the other cabinets and see if they all go out at the same time if one isn't switch the wires and you're inside the cabinet and on the speaker and you'll be good to go okay so hope you enjoyed the little tip scott grove dr groovy groovy music uh, keep all your stuff wired correctly and again the nine volt battery test has been around for many 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 decades and it will never let you down it will not lie to you so go get all your stuff wired correctly later kids